أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد صدقكم الله وعده إذ تحسونهم بإذنه حتى إذا فشلتم وتنازعتم في الأمر وعصيتم من بعد ما أراكم ما تحبون منكم من يريد الدنيا ومنكم من يريد الآخرة ثم صرفكم عنهم ليبتليكم ولقد عفى عنكم والله ذو فضل على المؤمنين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله From Juz 4th, I want to highlight the incident of Ahad in particular ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the middle of the ayah وَتَنَازَعْتُمْ فِي الْأَمْرِ وَعَسَيْتُمْ مِنْ بَادِ مَا أَرَاكُمْ مَا تُحِبُّونَ This ayah is actually giving us the reason why Muslims lost battle of Ahad and our 70 companions lost their lives and achieved the status of martyrdom. It's very interesting, Battle of Ahud happened after Battle of Badr, but in the sequence of Quran, Battle of Ahud comes before, and Battle of Badr will come in Surah Al-Anfal. One of the reasons which scholars give is that we need to learn from our mistakes before we can actually enjoy our celebration of victory because Battle of Badr was a victory. Now, in this particular ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the exact same reason for our loss, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave in Surah Al-Anfal, exact same reason for the victory in Badr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and this have been another issue. You have not lost a battle because of lack of resources. Because whoever have studied Islamic history, they know lack of resources is never an issue for us. We were less in terms of resources in Badr, in Uhud, in Tabuk, in different battles. Our issue has always been internal conflicts. Our issue has always been not organizing properly. Here in Battle of Uhud, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتَنَازَعْتُمْ فِي الْأَمْرُ وَعَسَيْتُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا أَرَاكُمْ مَا تُحِبُّونَ That you disobeyed the instructions and hierarchy given from you, and you disputed within it. This is a reason why we start losing the Battle of Ahad, when we could have won that battle, but tables were turned over, because we know the story of what happened in Battle of Ahad. In, even in today's society, if we want to give the Ummah the lost glory back, we have to work from inside and we have to get organized and we have to finish these inner conflicts so that eventually we can become more powerful from inside and we can offer a positive change to the entire world. Jazakumullah khair.